Welcome to eProgna. In this video, we are going to see the multiple choice questions that is MCQs related to the metal forming processes and all these MCQs are concept based MCQs. So you can learn the concept through the MCQs. So let us begin. First question, which of the following manufacturing process operates under the influence of external forces subjected to the plastic deformation? And options given are metal forming, powder metallurgy, casting and welding. And the correct answer is metal forming. Now metal forming uh, is the process uh, or it is a group of process in which we change the shape and size of end material with the application of force and which is subjected to the plastic deformation. Now here is an example of an metal forging right so the forging operation we carry out by applying a compressive force on this metal and we change the shape of this material by the application of external force so let us move to the next question forming is a process that changes the shape of metal by changing its phase and this is a true or false kind of end question and the correct answer is false now why it is false because in case of a metal forming we change the shape by applying the force and not by changing the phase of material now the casting process which is shown over here is a kind of a process which changes the shape of a material by changing its phase from liquid to solid but in case of a metal forming process the we work on the solid phase itself right so third question which of the following can help in determining the behavior of material in metal forming and options are size of material shape of material stress strain curve and color of material and the correct answer is stress strain curve now what is the stress strain curve that you will be learning in SOM so stress strain curve is nothing but the when a material is subjected to stress so let us let us take an example of an tensile stress so if the material is subjected to tensile stress how it will change the shape at what stress it will start elongating right at what stress it will uh, uh, elastically elongate at what stress it will plastically elongate and at what stress it will break down all this information that is the behavior of material under the stress can be depicted with the help of this stress strain curve which of the following metal forming process is best suitable for making the wires and options are forging, rolling, drawing and extrusion and the correct answer is drawing which is also called as a wire drawing. Now this is the diagram of a wire drawing in which we are obtaining a wire from a stock of wire which is very high in diameter and we are getting a wire with a smaller diameter with the help of this uh, bull right so, or block which is also called as a bull block right and this particular uh, wire having a larger diameter goes through these dies and we are pulling that wire we are drawing that wire right so this is the example of a wire drawing process dash dash is a forming process in which the thickness of metal plate is decreased by increasing its length and options are forging rolling drawing and extrusion and the correct answer is rolling now rolling is the process in which we reduce the thickness of an plate okay by applying the force through the rollers right and this plate passes through this roller under pressure and thus we reduce the thickness and uh, we increase the thickness of that particular plate right so this is also kind of a forming process the next which of the following metal forming process performs squeezing out of material through a hole and op uh, options are forging rolling drawing and extrusion and the correct answer is extrusion now extrusion is the process in which we are forcing this metal so this billet is of a metal and this particular die is having only one small opening right so we are forcing this material from this side and from opposite side a 
a kind of an uh, material will come out with a definite shape definite cross section right okay through this hole and we will get the product desired product and this process is called as an extrusion process depending on the temperature of the forming process can be classified as and options given are hot working cold working warm working and all of the mentioned and the correct answer is all of these uh, now depending on the temperature uh, the forming process can be classified as a hot working or cold working now in hot working we elevate the temperature of workpiece uh, to a certain degree so that it will become soft and we have to apply lesser forces whereas when we apply the forces to change the shape and size of material at a room temperature that is called as a cold working and in between that temperatures uh, if we are providing in between that that is called as a warm working okay so this is the classification of a metal forming processes depending on the temperature the working temperature of cold working is below a certain temperature that temperature is known as and options are critical temperature recrystallization temperature transition temperature and curie temperature and the correct answer is recrystallization temperature so if we are working below certain temperature called as a recrystallization temperature that process is called as a cold working now let us see what exactly this recrystallization means so recrystallization is a process by which a deformed grains are replaced by a new set of non deformed grains and this recrystallization takes place at a certain temperature for a specific material and that temperature is called as a recrystallization temperature in which of the following processes plastic deformation takes place and options are cold working hot working both cold and hot working and cannot be specified and the correct answer is both cold and hot working now plastic deformation takes place whenever there is a forming process so whenever we apply the force uh, to change the shape and size of material whatever be the temperature of that material the plastic deformation will takes place may it be a hot working process or may it be a cool working process and the last question which of the following component are is mainly manufactured by performing metal forging and options given are piston engine block connecting rod and crankcase now this metal forging is one of the very important metal forming process and the correct answer is connecting rod so connecting rods are manufactured with the help of forging process right and one of the most important reason is that the forged components have a very good strength that is why this connecting rod which requires a good strength are manufactured by a forging process so these were the mcqs related to the manufacturing processes and metal forming processes so for getting more videos on this topics okay please visit the channel e pradnya and if you like this video please click on the like button and also subscribe to the channel thank you